if I could rank my dreams, which I <laughs> have so many of them, this was probably like really up high. It was like one. I mean, who else is going to say they've done that before? At this point, we had been in Turkey for about two weeks. I was traveling with my sister and brother-in-law and we'd been dri driving around to different cities and we had been doing some really cool things. We went to this really cool gorge called Saklakent Gorge and it was an awesome hike. We like did mud, mud mass and then we also went to the Pamukkale Calcium Flats, which was really amazing as well. So we had done these things and I was really happy with Turkey, really excited, but I couldn't get Cappadocia off my mind because, you know, that was kind of like the pinnacle of the trip. And I was really excited because of the hot air balloons. We were supposed to fly on the hot air balloon the next day and they said, because of the weather, we couldn't, they couldn't fly hot air balloons. So then we ended up just kind of like doing other things. And then um, we were hoping to get on the flight for the next morning, but that got canceled too. And at this point, we had one day left. We were leaving on Sunday and that was our one last chance to go. And the night before, we made two separate reservations with two different companies and they sent us an email Saturday night saying it's probably going to fly, but in the morning they might cancel it as well. So we were just kind of waiting and we were going to go for it, but at any moment they could have canceled it. Um, so the next morning, we barely got enough sleep because we had to wake up before the sunrise. And so it was around 4.30 and we all got up. Just made myself a super fancy coffee. Alright, here we go. The bus came to pick us up. We followed the bus. Dad, is this like a dream come true? Yeah, I've been waiting for this moment all my life. 26 years. We had our breakfast and everyone was still unsure, you know, are they gonna let it fly? Are we gonna go? And then um, they took us on a van. It was still really dark and you couldn't really see anything. But then from the side, you could see like these big bubbles just like form on the ground. And I was like, oh my goodness, I think it's happening. And we we got to the place where they said this is our, our hot air balloon. And then they all you can hear is like the blowing of the fire and you can feel the heat. And it's like, oh, I think it's happening. I think it's happening. When we got there and we were watching the balloons blow up, all I could think of was, that is massive. Like I had no idea how big it was. And so it was just this huge piece of parachute tent looking thing. And it was growing and growing and people were like holding it with ropes because they didn't want it to fly away. So they're holding it, but it was like kind of like dragging them. And I was just like, oh my goodness, this is massive. I can't believe this is gonna go in the sky and we're gonna be in it, in a basket where the wind is blowing and we're just exposed to the world. But it was just kind of unbelievable. It was amazing. So when we got in the basket, at this point, I think there were a couple more balloons that had just lifted off the ground. And I was just like watching them go off the ground and waiting for our turn and it like it lifted off the ground so gently like we, I didn't even feel it really it was just kind of like like you know when you're in an airplane it's just kind of like you can tell but it was just like eh, okay we're like going up and then all these other balloons were going up This has been an amazing experience. I am on cloud nine. My top favorite things when we were, when we were in the air was 
actually being able to see the sunrise from so high up. Um, I think by the time we were way, a pretty ways off the ground, the sun was rising and it was really bright. And then all I could see was um, a bunch of balloons in the sky as well. So that was like an image that like locked in my head. Also, it was cool seeing balloons below you, balloons above you. and seeing Cappadocia from an aerial view because we had been like trekking in it, driving in it, but seeing it from above, it looked really cool and something that you could only experience from like up from in the balloon. At the end, they told us to like go in this like brace position and I think our landing was a little bit rough but it was it was fun. Um, I liked it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at squats. So now, back to dreaming and accomplishing my dream. At the end, when we were celebrating um, with everyone in our balloon and getting a medal of accomplishment, I felt proud. I felt happy. I felt, wow, this is a moment that I couldn't recreate and um, it was definitely worth it. It was worth the wait, worth saving up and planning for it. Not everyone might have had the same dream, this dream of going on hot air balloon. It might have been like a little girl's dream, but I think having a dream is important because it drives you to make sacrifices in the present so that you can achieve the dream in the future. But dreaming is kind of the starting point. Everyone can have a thought in their mind and have a dream, but to achieve that dream, you need to make sacrifices and you need to um, be disciplined to actually achieve it. So, so it's important to dream and it's important to be disciplined to be able to reach the dream. <laughs>